Yo, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, and today we're going to be checking out episode 12 of season 2 of The Bat Batch. What up? Last week was a really cool episode. We got to see the Zillow Beast from the Clone Wars, so that was really sweet, but the Empire was able to recapture it so it could take it back and do more tests. We also met Dr. Hemlock, which I found out afterwards is actually voiced by Jimmy Simpson, one of the McPoyle brothers. But I really like him. He was fantastic in Westworld, so it's really cool that he is in this, and I'm interested to learn more about Dr. Hemlock, because at the end he had a meeting with the Kaminoan Prime Minister, and he said that they had to find a young clone girl, which I assume is Omega, so now we're going to have Dr. Hemlock after the Bad Batch. I am very curious if Admiral Rampart gets involved once he finds out that's who we're after. And I cannot wait to get into this episode. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these reactions. And let's get into episode 12, season 2 of the Bad Batch. Oh, hey, buddy. We haven't seen you in a while. And wishes you well on your retirement. <laughs> oh, that's right. Forcing out the clones. I'm Lieutenant Nolan. Lieutenant Nolan. More clones. Problem, sir. Yes, I don't like used equipment. That's rude as hell. They're still people. I don't like Lieutenant Nolan so far. Where did they say we're going? Barton 4? I'm so bad with Star Wars names. <laughs> I need it like drilled into my head. <laughs> Ship. This guy's not ready. There's an interesting music sting there when they showed Crosshair. <laughs> I'm a poet and didn't even know I was rhyming those words, but it happened anyway. We work on the Empire's schedule, Trooper, not yours. It's Commander. Commander? Commander who? Yet this outpost is grossly unguarded. Solid beard. Dead. Oh. Hex, Veach, and I. Hex and Veach. I am in charge here until the cargo is transported. I feel safer already. <laughs> here, clone. You speak to me with respect. Nah. In my experience, respect is something to be earned. Damn right. Where you let the majority of your squad get killed. Tell me, Lieutenant. This dude could use a swift punch in the face. You commanded? This is his first one, huh? That's what I thought. It is. Yeah. The name's Mayday. Mayday. Crosshair. Welcome to the outpost. This is probably going to be another interaction that pushes Crosshair more to leaving the Empire, huh? Now that it's finally getting transported. I like his, uh, I like his helmet. His whole look there. Little mummy clone. <laughs> course figures what's inside those crates yeah i wonder that myself he doesn't even know what he's guarding ever checked you'll freeze to death in that armor unless what's in the ice kills you first in the ice either way it'll make them happy snow vultures oh here we go Oh, no. It's gonna sting. Did he miss? Because he's kind of having trouble seeing. That would be the only reason he would. Oh, he got... Got him a little bit. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, but wouldn't a blaster cauterize the wound? So why would there be blood? The rest must have fled on foot into the mountain pass. Wrong. It is just gonna be people trying to survive, huh? What are you doing just Damn. standing around? They lose both? Hex and Veach were killed in the ambush. Dang. And you two alone. Recover the cargo. Of course you're not going to go. Is that clear? Yes, Lieutenant. Punch him in the face. He'd definitely call the manager, though. <laughs> Still, probably it would feel good. They're phasing you out anyway, so. No point in carrying dead weight. Remind me not to die on your watch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Crosshair is probably having second thoughts, but he's still Crosshair. Empathy isn't his strong suit. Uh oh. Pressure mine. 
They may have a bag of sand. Oh, flipped it. Since I don't feel like carrying your body back to the outpost, I guess I'll give it a shot. I like the snark. What unit were you with? Clone Force 99. What happened to them? They're gone. They're not, though. So wait, does Crosshair... Crosshair doesn't know? I thought he saw them leave. Come on, brain. <laughs> that you're confident in your work. Oh, I'm confident. <laughs> I mean, still, I mean, just in case. Three. Good job, Mayday. Something tells me they're not raiders. Okay, I mean, it said Raider 2 Grunt, so maybe I'm wrong. Would not be the first time. There's more, though. Oh my gosh, there's a lot more. It only looked like there were six, minus the guards. Oh, there's the mines. Oh no, bring the whole mountain down? Oh, they're seeing what's in it. Gear. We've been Gear. risking our lives to recover equipment we could have been wearing this whole time. Oh, damn. It's not clone trooper gear. Stormtrooper gear? We're good soldiers. We followed orders. Oh. And for what? That's been the line he's living by. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is the last draw for Crosshair. And he finally maybe goes and... If he gets out of here. Oh no, Mayday! Getting caught in an avalanche would be terrifying. I bet Mayday didn't make it, huh? Dang, is that the rock they were running to? Mayday. Come on, please. Mayday, wake up. Oh, good. Come on. He's not. He's not dead yet. Oh, he's not in a good spot, though. I won't make it. That might be the most emotion I've seen on Crosshair's face so far, ever. He's not going to leave him behind. A turning point. Be better if you had your helmet, Crosshair. I might have lost it, though. Not today, Snow Vulture. Not today. Jeez. <sighs> wow. They better not leave them there. Lieutenant Nolan will not wait. This guy sucks. Go help them. Any assistance? No. Get back to work and load those crates. All of you. I really, really don't like Lieutenant Nolan at all. That would be a waste of the Empire's resources. No way. He made it all the way back. Served his purpose. As a soldier of the Empire. Punch this dude in the face. Come on, Crosshair. I'll see to it you meet a similar fate, clone. What's Crosshair gonna do? And get back to work. While you're still useful. Is he gonna take him out? I hope he takes him out. Leave him for the vulture. Lieutenant. Let's go, Crosshair. Yes! <laughs> Screw you, Lieutenant. Hell yeah, Crosshair.
He's gonna have to take them all out, huh? Or no. I mean, he didn't die, did he? Just pet. Don't end it there. Oh, good. Oh, you got me, show. Hello, CT9904. Oh, this is, uh... Or do you prefer crosshairs? She recognizes that they have names. I'm holding you for observation. Once you've healed, the doctor will come for you. Oh, that's not good news, though. Cooperate, and you might survive. Oh, no. Dr. Hemlock knows that he's part of Clone Force 99, and that Omega's with Clone Force 99, so he's going to use Crosshair to get to her. Wow, what a roller coaster there at the end. <laughs> that was another really good episode. I've really liked the Crosshair episodes this season. The way that he is kind of growing this season and kind of realizing that the choice he made to go along with the Empire wasn't the right one and that he's regretting leaving his brothers because the more and more that he goes through, he realizes that the Empire does not care about him. They literally only see him as a number. Admiral Rampart only calls him by his number. This episode with Lieutenant Nolan of just being super terrible. I am really glad that Crosshair took him out. He just had to go. So I did really like that. I really liked the interactions between Crosshair and Mayday. And I really do think that that interaction and, you know, him almost sacrificing himself to not leave Mayday behind was a really huge step. Now, my memory is not the best, but I don't remember seeing that much emotion on his face in the first season and definitely not so far in this one. We've seen some doubt on his face, but not so much of like he actually he cares about the other clone and it was really it was really cool to see that in this episode so it is kind of a bummer that dr hemlock's going to try to use him to find clone force 99 and omega although i mean crosshair really doesn't know where they are i don't think it's going to work out for dr hemlock but it's going to be a really cool last four episodes and really only in three weeks because 15 and 16 are going to be uh, a double episode so i cannot wait to see what happens so i cannot wait to see what happens i feel like it's going to be very epic thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it let me know down in the comments what you thought of this episode anything i may have missed and on your way down there hit that like hit that subscribe hit that bell you know what to do and i'll see you in the next one